is up guys and welcome back to my channel we are going to be doing some serious deep cleaning for the next couple of days i'm so excited i was able to get some of this done but as you can imagine i had to get it done in multiple days deep cleaning is not something you can get done at least for me in one day so i started out my goal was to get the bedrooms all three bedrooms done in one day and that's where i started i started in our master bedroom cleaning up decluttering space putting things where they should be and as you can see absolute mess under our furniture under and behind furniture and so that was a big to do on my project list for deep cleaning One tip I can give you is when you're going around cleaning, and this is what I do, especially when I'm deep cleaning, is carry around an empty trash bag with you. That way you're not running back and forth to the kitchen or wherever you have a trash can at, and then you can just drop trash or things you're wanting to throw away in that trash bag. We have a really, really bad habit of keeping our empty bottled waters in our room because I sleep with bottled water next to me so that when I wake up it's the first thing I grab and drink. My husband of course drinks water throughout the night so we just have this really bad habit of leaving bottled water everywhere and that's what that trash bag was mainly full of and of course as you saw under the bed was a complete mess of just pieces of trash and things that had made its way under the bed so just a tip for you take a trash bag around when you're walking to each room when you're cleaning. Once I got under the bed all cleaned up and that trash thrown away and all the trash laying around the room, that's when I started dusting off all of the furniture top. So here, obviously my husband's dresser I cleaned off and then I'll wipe down mine. For a deep cleaning, everything comes off. Sometimes I do that when I, I, I do a thorough clean of the house, um, but especially deep cleaning, everything comes off and then everything goes back on. So yeah, just a quick dusting of all the furniture before moving on to the next piece of work, which is mainly going to be windows and then vacuuming. Another bad habit that I picked up is I just kind of leave my shoes everywhere, mostly in our room of course, and I have a nice thing that I put together upstairs so they all went back up there. Here I sprayed some of this Pillow Talk Aromatherapy, it's a lavender scent. I always love doing this anytime I clean, just a quick spray of the sheets and the pillows. It's really nice. And then here of course is the finished product. Everything is cleaned up everything is organized everything is back in order the bed is made trash is thrown out and we are on to the next room basically follow the same process in every room that I go to. Everything comes off if I'm going to do a complete wipe down 
and everything gets wiped down and then everything gets put back into place and of course when you're dealing with small children all they do is make a mess of everything oh that would be aries and this would be bell <laughs> coming to join to help out i also cleaned out the kids closets and these are clothes that i was going that that i am going to be donating uh that they were just clothes he had outgrown or was going to be wearing you know with the changing of seasons and he's definitely not going to fit into them next year so once again cleaned up everything and now wiping things down before I hit his bed up, straighten up his bed, then onto windows and then the floor. A few people have asked me about this vacuum cleaner. It's the Shark Pet Pro Vacuum. I think I got that right. I actually got it at a massive sale when Bed Bath & Beyond was closing nearby. So that's really the only reason I got a cordless vacuum cleaner. But I'll say this, I do love it. I do love having that. So finished product, once again, everything straightened up as best you can for a kid's room and in its proper place. Next, we're on to Belle's room. Same thing, tons of clothes that I'm going to be giving away to someone else who is getting ready to have a girl, taking everything off, wiping everything down, and straightening up. So Belle's room is actually a big pet peeve of mine right now. It's one of the rooms I can't stand most days because there's so much stuff in it right now until we get the basement completely straightened up. And I'm happy to report that yes, that basement will be in a future video because it is finished. And I say finished in the fact that we have the floor laid, the bathroom done, and it's now just time to clean up that area and then a lot of those things in her room will be going downstairs and she will actually have her own room finally to play in and enjoy so hopefully i can get this room completely the way i like it by her birthday which is in only a couple of months but i'm so thankful to my husband who spent this last week laying the floor and getting that basement all pulled together so that we can finally give our little girl her own room that's basically it this is the finished product again nothing spectacular because the room is so cluttered but at least everything is cleaned up and wiped down and in its proper place i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up hit that bell so you're notified every time i upload a video and make sure you're subscribed as well i'll see you guys next time in the next deep clean video